This might be the most wonderful time of the year, at least if you're a gamer. Here to explain, Aaron Conklin. I love this time of year. Who doesn't? All the big games are coming out. It's awesome. All the big games are coming out. We have some blockbuster titles to talk about. Mm -hmm. And the first one I want to talk about, uh, we, we were talking about this a little bit off camera beforehand, uh, Black Ops 2. It's something that, as you put it, it's really becoming the Madden of the shooter world. Yeah, it really is. I mean, they're putting out a, a version almost every single year and making mm -hmm. incremental changes. But Activision's goal with this series has really been to sort of turn it into an online sport. And they're really making that step this year. There's a, a lot of, of, of league action. You're actually now going to be able to, to stream your online um, activity straight into YouTube so you can share all your matches with all of your friends. And then they're focusing a lot on the multiplayer piece of it. Um, there's a lot of customization. There's this new Pick 10 system where pick you can, 10, okay. yeah, where as you pick your class, you can actually pick the weapons and the and the perks that you want, sort of like you know, customize your own, you mm -hmm. know, your own dude. So they're definitely catering to that audience. Okay. Uh, now this is not out yet, correct? That's right. It comes out on Tuesday. It comes out on Tuesday. And if you haven't noticed, I know if you drive past Best Buy, they've got like the big like midnight release. Come and yeah. come and get it. Uh, Obviously, it'll be on the major platforms, 360, PS3, and the mm -hmm. price? Uh, $60. 60 bucks, of course. And of course, if you pre-order, there are some fun little tidbits that go along with it, depending on where you pre-order from. Exactly. Of always course. good to pay attention. Oh, yeah. Always good to pay attention to that stuff. All right. The other uh, big title we want to talk about, uh, Halo 4. And as we were saying, again, off camera, uh, this is the first Halo that you know, you know, know, Bungie isn't doing. It has nothing to do with Bungie. Yep. They hand it off to a new studio, 343. Mm -hmm. um, and they've really done a great job with it. Uh, I think that one of the big changes is, is there's actually a, a really compelling storyline with mm -hmm. compelling characters this time around. The main storyline centers a lot around the relationship between Master Chief and Cortana his artificial intelligence. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's really actually really compelling uh, and kind of kind of pulls you through the single player campaign. But of course the multiplayer is also also a big piece of it. They also have this new thing called Spartan Ops where you right. can actually now do co-op episodic content oh, and okay. just sort of like play these little bite-sized things together with your friends and develop your Spartan character, level them up, that sort of thing. So All right. Uh, and Halo 4 now that is currently available. It is. All right, and 60 bucks I'm assuming. Yep, and 360 exclusive. 360 exclusive, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, final thing we want to talk about and we're running out of time here. I'm not familiar with this title, Persona 4. Sure, this one's actually for the PlayStation Vita. Um, it's, it's actually an update of a game that came out late in the PlayStation 2's life cycle. Um, it's, it's sort of a, a mix of, of, of role playing and, and, and action. You actually play as a Japanese student who okay. has to uh, get together with friends and, and solve a bunch of murders. But there's a lot of, a lot of deep gameplay and a lot of interesting characterization. It's off the beaten path, but people should check it out. Okay, and now you said this is on the uh, Vita, uh, PS Vita. Uh Currently available? Nope, it's coming out on the 20th, and that'll be $40. Coming out on the 20th, 40 bucks, mm -hmm. PlayStation Vita. We appreciate it as always, Aaron. Thank you so much for stopping by. So, if you were wondering what the kids wanted this holiday season, there are three titles that I'm pretty sure will show up on their wish list.